Carl was within a few hundred yards of Emile's farm when the rumbling of the French air patrols began thundering through the April sky. Welcome back to another episode of 20 Below. And we are almost home to reunite with our wife and child. The rural world during the war, with most able-bodied men at the front, farm production still had to continue to feed the population. Women, the elderly, and children were set to work on farms. The requisitioning of horses made tilling the land even harder. Prisoners of war were also used to help the war effort. Very gassy in here. Gassy and dark. This is going to be an interesting level. I cleared the air a little bit. Dog to raise this carriage. Get some air in here. There we go. A little bit clearer. Ration ticket. Rationing was introduced into occupied zones, especially for bread, as there was not enough food to go around. Rationing enabled the authorities to regulate the distribution and quantity of food available and prevent prices soaring. somehow. I think I know what I need to do. Too hard. Okay. 
Another smoky, gassy room. Going to the basket. Electricity was not widely available, but candlelight and oil lamps were. The glass windshield was lifted to light the wick, and the intensity of light was adjusted by adjusting the wick's length. Coffee beans. Coffee was sold as beans and neither ground nor roasted. Generally, grocers would prepare the brew for their customers. Coffee was also home ground in Voigod coffee mills. I'm coming. Do that. Pipe. Pipe whittled from wood and horse bone, made in the trenches, along with food. Soldiers' daily rations also included tobacco. Many soldiers smoked or chewed tobacco to cover the stench of rotting corpses. That's kind of gross. Not smoking, but covering the stench of rotting corpses. Imagine how awful that would be. We just keep on falling. Money! 
I'll save you.